Welcome back to yet another coin hunt where I'm looking through the usual £100 worth of £50 coins. Going through the roly over bank bags this week. I will be going to the bank next week to get my next haul of coins. Fingers crossed for those sealed bags. Those beautiful, beautiful sealed bags. I always seem to get a bit more luck in those. Right, I can see that one of these has actually got a little sticker on it. Let's see whether or not that means anything. We're going to that bag first. Right, it's not the first coin hunt of the month, but if it was, I'd be going through the book and showing you everything that I'm missing. So if you do want to know what I'm missing in the coin hunt, go and check out the first coin hunt of each month, which would now be two videos ago. Go and check that out. As well as the commemoratives that I'm looking for, the book, there's information below about NIFCs and low mintage coins that I'm looking for, as well as the mintage figures for 50 pence coins in circulation as long as those figures are available. Some good information, go and check it all out. Right, as I said, I'm gonna start with this bag. Fingers crossed for some Olympics, and I'm gonna start speeding up the video now until I find something interesting to share with you. First coin for today. Peter Rabbit, uh, 2017. No way. Amazing. Look at that. First one I've found in months, I'd say. That is a Britannia, and that is most definitely 2008. So, a nice low mintage find. Excellent stuff. Well... Last week I was saying, wasn't I, that I hadn't seen an oddity for a while. Now, this might just look like it's been, you know, squashed a little bit. But if I put it on its angle, you might be able to see that that is, well, it's bent out of shapes, all sorts. There we go, look at that. Lovely stuff. Oh, let's get that to the front because I've just seen Charlie. And there we are. I think that's only the second one of these that I've ever found. And that is the Coronation coin. It is an amazing, beautiful design. Look at that. Chopped to bits. Keeping hold of those. Of course, we don't know the mintage figures on them just yet. And then look at that very very hard to make out it's almost a contender for an oddity that is volleyball on the olympics but look at the state of that i don't think i've ever seen an olympic that is also a contender for an oddity is this a case of it had one of those like stickers on it and it's faded away i don't know love finding the olympic coins and potentially an oddity slash olympic lovely stuff not one needed for the book of course and then let's go straight to the top here because i can see another coin christopher ironside and paddington at the tower. Okay, second one of these for today, and I don't see them too often. Another Christopher Ironside. Oh, and a coin I really don't see that often. 
Uh, another favourite design, that is the Battle of Hastings. Right, anything else tucked away, hiding in this last bag? No, there is not. But I would say that that is a very successful coin hunt. I mean, found a bit of everything, haven't I? Except for one for the book, but we'll go through those in a second. Before that, I'm going to go through the Shields and the Britannias. So if you join me in a second, I'll let you know everything that I found for today. And this is the haul for today. Of course, I found that low mintage Britannia whilst going through the coins, so that was just a bit of a bonus. There was nothing else extra there to show off. Let's go through these and I'll explain why these coins are split apart from each other. Okay, 2017 Peter Rabbit, Paddington at the Tower, two of the Christopher Ironside coins, a Battle of Hastings. Maybe I'm being a bit unfair and should be over here, but anyway, we've got the low mintage Britannia, We've got this crazy oddity on a Britannia. What year was that? I didn't actually even look. It's 1997. Can just about make that out. But I do love that. Look at it. It's completely and utterly mangled. Then I found the Coronation Coin, which I think is a fantastic design. And I think it's only the second one that I found. One's in the book, and now I've got my first spare. Waiting, of course, to find out now about those mintage figures. And then another contender for an oddity, plus it's an Olympic. We've got volleyball. You can't see that there, or maybe you can. I'm not sure. Uh, I think that's amazing, uh, the state of that Olympic coin. Somebody's definitely done something to it. and my, It's just a guess, but maybe it had one of those like decal stickers on it and that it's faded away over time. I'm not sure. Or maybe somebody peeled one of those off and it's left some sort of residue on it. I think it looks amazing. So... Having an Olympic that's also an oddity, in my opinion, is a bonus. Okay, well, I want to know in the comment section below, what have you found recently? Either you've been coin hunting yourself, or maybe just found something interesting in your change. But like I said, leave it in the comment section below, because it always interests me. If you're new around here, why not hit that subscribe button, because I release new coin content weekly. Thanks for watching!